Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Wait, what? Mac OS X Kitten? <laughs> this is hey. Chris. Hey. Uh, Chris? Yeah. Yeah, I have a question. I have, um, I tried downloading Linux to my computer, and when I downloaded it to my computer, then I tried, I downloaded it using Wubi. Are you familiar with that? Yes, I am. All right, I did it with Wubi, and after I did that, I did it on my VIS machine. And um, once I loaded it, because after the installation was complete, then the screen kind of went like blue and red, and then it said the graphics card was like inc incompatible or something like that. Do you, you said Wubi. W-U-B-I, Wubi. Yeah, Wooby. Yeah, no, someone was didn't know what you were talking about. Um, oh. Do you well, know what I could like do to see, get it to work on my computer? Because I really is, wanted to download well, Linux to right, right, my right. Uh, okay, well, machine. For, wait, first of all, do you yep. know if Wooby? I'm asking because I haven't used it on well on Vista. Is it Vista compatible? Well, um, I don't really know because I downloaded it. Might be good. Too. That might be good to know. Well, um, does it work on a 32-bit OS machine? Uh, what? Uh, Linux? Yeah. Yeah? It does? I mean, yeah. Oh. I mean, you don't want to download like that. I wasn't too for sure about that, because I asked before, because I can't, I watch your show like almost every day, and I uh, asked before like if uh, it worked on a 32-bit OS, and then someone in the chat room said it didn't. So I was just wondering I about, about well, that. Well, 64-bit installation won't work on 32-bit yeah but my suggestion for you instead of messing with Wubi at this point uh -huh. is just put it in a live CD oh okay well how, how do you do that oh, I tried doing that before oh, God. it wouldn't it work so I swear to God it doesn't get any easier than creating a live CD um, in fact I've got you know countless live CDs lying around here uh, you literally download the ISO of a, a Linux uh -huh. distribution and then burn it to a disk whatever you like Nero or any of the uh -huh. Roxio, any of the products that you burn to disk, burn that ISO to a disk, restart uh -huh. your computer. If it reads the CD as a boot drive first, fine. If not, you can toggle it to boot from the CD. It'll boot from the CD. You'll it be... doesn't work on a CDR CD? Because I bought yeah. it. It's like yes. a CDR. Yes. It's... Yes. It does? Yes. You can, get oh, a, okay. you can get a Linux distribution as small as your pinky. In fact, some Linux distributions either come uh -huh. with or can be put on flash drives. So... Yeah, dude, you've got options. Don't, don't, uh, don't mess with Wooby right now. All right, right. you know all you're right, still kind you. of getting going. Wooby's good. Yeah. But if there's a Vista compatibility in question, put it on a live CD. The great thing about uh, live CDs, you throw it in there, you reboot. You're in Linux. You can mess around. Blah 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 blah. Reboot the machine again and take out that CD, and it's like nothing ever happened. It won't touch the hard drive unless you specifically tell it to touch the hard drive. Oh, okay. So, so uh, gives you you're trying to... Oh, okay, I get it. It gives you a right, chance to... You. Yeah, well, it's no problem. All right. It's no problem. Anyway. Yeah, yeah so... Uh, you got yeah, another so I'll question? I'll try that. Yeah. All right. Cool, thank you. Is that it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I thought you had another Bye. question. No problem. Take care.